I'm Eric Schauer. I am the construction manager for the systems contract on the Southwest LRT or Green Line Extension contract. So the systems contract is the follow-on contract to the civil construction contract, which built all the, the rails and stations. We come on after and pull all the, the cables, essentially, that signal, electrify the railroad, and provide a communications backbone system for, for the light rail system. There's four main disciplines. One of them is the traction power system, which installs all the traction power substations. We have very uh, less than a mile in alignment to distribute power to the trains. We have the overhead catenary system, which is, or OCS, which is the overhead wires that provide power to the trains from the, the substations. And then we have the rail signaling system, which has all the signal controls for the, the trains um, at, at crossover locations or at, at signals at station platforms. We also have the communication fiber optic backbone system, which provides communications to all the wayside devices on the train line back to our rail control center um, in, at our Franklin O&M facility in Minneapolis, which monitors and controls all train movements on the future line as well as our existing LRT system. Over the past two construction seasons in the systems contract, we've completed a lot. We've completed 18 of the 19 traction power substations along the alignment. Um, those, those substations are all in place and powered. Um, there's still work remaining with them to integrate them into the system, but they're, they are in place. We also have installed a lot of the signal houses, which are located throughout the alignment um, to provide uh, signals and communication elements to control the future train movements. We've also installed um, through segments 1 through 13, which is basically from Southwest Station in Eden Prairie, through Beltline Boulevard Station in St. Louis Park, the overhead catenary wire, um, which is the overhead wires that power the train. So all that wire is up in the air and adjustments continue to be made to it through the winter months th this season and into next before we're able to pull additional wire on the eastern segments of the alignment. On the communication side, we've installed a lot of the communication elements on all the platforms through Beltline Boulevard Station in St. Louis Park as well as the fiber optic backbone cable, which provides all the future communication back to our control center um, through those, through those same, same segments from Southwest Station to Beltline Boulevard Station. So currently a lot of work is on hold for the winter months, but there's still a lot of work to be done inside each of the substations and signal houses with um, prep work for testing later this summer, labeling for the cables and other things that can be done indoors. Outdoors, it's more limited until we get higher temps in the spring, but they are continuing to adjust the overhead catenary wire. So all that will continue through the winter here. And then in the spring, it'll really pick up again, um, continuing to install um, overhead catenary wire in the eastern end of, of the project from Target Field to Bryn Mawr Station, installing wayside signal devices in those segments um, before we're really ready to prep for integration testing um, later this year. And we're hoping to get our first um, test trains on the alignment, which will be a big milestone. And it's all been very, very exciting to and rewarding to, to, to see um, come together over the last two years. Ultimately, in the systems contract, when we do our job well and everything is running smoothly, no one even knows we, we exist, really. <laughs> but if something, if there's a fault on the system or an alarm and something, something fault, faulty happens on the system, that is when everyone knows. When trains aren't running on time, it's likely something is malfunctioning on the system that we have to address. So having all these subsystems um, carefully inspected and tested is really important for future efficient um, revenue service operations. Mm -hmm.